Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. There were a lot of Formula Renault Junior Series around the world at one point, and whilst they are now gone, basically replaced everywhere by Formula 4, they do have an important place in the history of many successful race drivers. We have already looked at every champion from the Formula Renault Italia, UK and Euro Cup series. So now let's turn our attention to a different Formula Renault series. The Formula Renault 2.0 Swiss slash Alps Championship. An interesting championship given that motorsport in Switzerland is banned and therefore this series never raced there. It did race in Italy, France, Austria, Spain and Hungary. The Formula Renault 2.0 Swiss Championship ran from 2002 to 2015. So with 14 champions to find out what happened to, make sure you subscribe and let's jump into the video. 2002 Thomas Conrad. The first Formula Renault Swiss champion was in fact a German by the name of Thomas Conrad. Sadly for Conrad, he never really progressed past the national Formula Renault stage of his career, racing in the Euro Cup a few times but never really having any success and he soon disappeared from the racing scene. His race team Conrad Racing Sports continued on and it still has a website which hasn't been updated since 2019 and it looks like Thomas Conrad has been involved with local level motorsport. I have no idea if they still exist or not. 2003 Manuel Benz. I have no idea who Manuel Benz is. He was champion here in 2003 after a season in Formula Renault Germany and then just stopped. Sadly the champion's career never took off. 2004 Nicholas Molini. I don't know what the deal with this series is but the champions seem to struggle to move on. Nicholas Molini won the 2004 championship and returned for 2005 where he was runner up. After that he raced in Formula Renault France and the short lived international Formula Masters. Before succumbing to a life of endurance racing, bouncing between the Michelin Le Mans Cup and the LMP3 category of the European Le Mans series. He's had his successes finishing runner up in class in 2021. As of now, he's still listed as part of the cool racing team, but hasn't raced and seems to be spending his free time cycling and skiing and anything but motor racing, really. 2005, Ralph McTree won the series at his third attempt and then jumped immediately into the Renault Megane Euro Cup. He had his race wins and went on to race at Le Mans a few times in the LMP2 class. He spent his entire career with racing performance and it was all over by 2012. 2006 Jonathan Hershey Whilst the 2006 Swiss Formula Renault title was the only title of Jonathan Hershey's career, he did manage to have a long and interesting racing career. He soon gave up on single-seaters and would finish runner-up in the Renault Megane Euro Cup in 2009 before embarking on a long career in sports car racing. He'd make eight appearances at Le Mans first in the GT class in four GTs and Lotus Europas, before getting up to LMP2 and finishing second in class and sixth overall in 2018 for the Graf racing team alongside Tristan Gamendi and Vincent Capilia. He also took a win in the European Le Mans series and has attempted rallying in the past. In 2023, he still makes occasional appearances in races at the Nordschleifer. 2007, Adam Kaut. Czech driver Adam Count has had an interesting career. He won the Formula Renault Swiss Championship in his first year of car racing and he would move up to Formula Renault Euro Cup. But he would not have any success and would just kind of bounce around between Euro Cup and regional Formula Renault series for the next few years before heading straight back into karting. He had won two European Supercar Championships in 2015 and 16 and has resurfaced in Eastern European TCR, finishing third overall in 2023 meaning he will probably get to race in the TCR World Tour Grand Final. 2008 Christopher Zanella A very talented driver whose career just seemed to stop. Christopher Zanella would go on to get a podium in the Formula 3 Euro Series before finishing runner-up in the old Formula 2 Series to GT ace Mirko Bortolotti. You know the guy currently leading the DTM Championship. He'd have another go in 2012 where he would finish third overall and in 2013 he'd get a podium on his Formula Renault 3.5 series debut. But then everything just kind of stopped for some reason. I guess financial. And he has appeared in various GT series here and there. 
Disappointing because it looked like he might have been a decent talent. 2009, Nico Muller. Finally, a driver who has had a successful racing career after winning this series. It isn't cursed after all. Nico Muller would go on to win races in GP3 and Formula Renault three and a half. He has been a runner-up in the DTM Championship twice, and in 2023, he races for Peugeot in the hypercar class of the World Endurance Championship and for Apt Cooper in Formula E, a series he has previously scored a podium in. He may not have won a championship since Formula Renault Swiss 14 years ago, but 11 wins in DTM and still scoring top drives is pretty damn good. 2010 Zoll Amberg The final Swiss champion of the Swiss Renault series was Zoll Amberg. He too had a pretty strong career on the back of his success in this series. A year later he was racing in GP3 for ATEC and was taking a win in the Formula 3 Euro series. He'd follow that with three fruitless years in the Formula Renault 3 and a half series and in 2015 he'd get six races for Team Lazarus in GP2 and a couple of races for Team Saad in LMP2 class of the World Endurance Series. He failed to finish at Le Mans but did get on the podium at Spa. After that, he was done with motorsport. 2011, Javier Tarancon. The Spaniard would be finished by 2012 despite winning a Formula Renault Euro Cup race in 2011 and sharing a podium with Carlos Sainz Jr. and Daniel Kvyat. Don't know what he's up to these days, but I hope it's lasted longer than his racing career. 2012, Daniel Kvyat. For Torpedo, Daniel Kvyat got his first taste of success here after already doing all right in various Formula Renault series around Europe. He quickly moved on up to GP3, winning the championship with Arden and getting some time in Formula 1 with Toro Rosso and eventually Red Bull, tasting the sweet champagne on the podium before getting booted out of Red Bull after a disastrous home Grand Prix. He returned in 2019 and 2020 with Toro Rosso slash Alfa Tori and has since moved on to do some NASCAR and race in the World Endurance Championship with Prema. He's doing alright. 2013 Antonio Falcio the Italian beat another talented Italian in Luca Giotto to win the title and then went on to win the one-off Florida Winter Series a year later, whilst taking wins in the Formula 3 European Series. In 2015, Falcio raced in GP3 and became a Ferrari Formula 1 reserve driver. He'd finished third in GP3 in 2016 and would go on to a couple of mediocre years in the Formula 2 Championship. He has since moved on to endurance racing whilst remaining part of the Ferrari Formula 1 structure and now races in the World Endurance Championship in the new Ferrari hypercar, scoring several podiums in the team's first year. Antonio Falcio has gone on to have an amazing career and he's only 27, plenty of time to become a Ferrari legend yet. 2014 Nick De Vries The Dutchman actually beat the likes of Charles Leclerc and George Russell, so it was probably miffed they got to Formula 1 first. Charles Leclerc was actually the junior champion and series runner-up. De Vries finished third in the Formula Renault 3.5 in 2015 behind Oliver Rowland and Mathieu Vaxivier. That's maybe why he didn't get to Formula 1 straight away. 2016 saw Nick De Vries race in GP3 but he had a rough year and it would take until his third season in Formula 2 for him to win the championship. No Formula 1 driver was forthcoming so Nick De Vries joined Mercedes in Formula E winning the title in his second year. His title defence did not go to plan but he did score points on his Formula 1 debut for Williams at Monza and so he joined Alfa Tori for 2023. You know how this went, he struggled in a poor car, got sacked with Daniel Ricciardo, made some disparaging comments about Red Bull and is now unemployed. I expect him to turn up in Formula E or maybe the World Endurance Championship in 2024. If he's lucky, he might be giving windmill tours in Amsterdam for all I know. 2015 Jack Aitken our final champion is another Formula 1 flop in Jack Aitken. It took him three years to win the Formula Renault Championship, beating Jake Hughes to the title and Louis Delatraz to the Formula Renault Euro Cup Championship. He spent the next two years in GP3, finishing runner-up in 2017 and signing on as a reserve Formula 1 driver for Renault and after three years of Formula 2 would make his Formula 1 debut with Williams, the only race of his Formula 1 career. He returned to Formula 2 in 2021 but only for half a season and is now a GT racer, taking the odd win here and there, including in the DTM in 2023 for Ferrari. You'll never see him in Formula 1 again. So they are all the champions of the Formula Renault 2.0 Swish slash Alps series from 2002 to 2015. It started off with some pretty anonymous drivers, but eventually we got some stars of F1. 
but just as the series got into its stride, it was cancelled. A great shame, as maybe it could have been the launch pads for more failed F1 drivers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a good one.